Hey there, everybody. This is Airhead. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Coliseum. In the last episode, we got through Pyrite Cave and made it to the very end. So we're are going to go into the depths and see what lies ahead. Oh my. What is going on behind this door? Oh, it's beautiful. Quick while he's distracted, run, run, run. Break it, break for the door. Hey, 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 people. Going that way is a no-no. Oh, what, but why? What do you have to say about this? Lun Lun Pa. Oh, okay, what about you? Lun Pa Pa, okay. Very, very intelligent conversation. Lun Lun Pa Pa. And the smartest one of all. Lun Pa Lun Pa. All right. It has all led to this. We've got our team. It's time to finally face Mirror B himself. Oh my goodness. He's gorgeous. Yeah, woo! It's about time, darlings. I'm so frightfully tired of waiting for you. Stop the music! Oh man, it must be getting serious if we stop the music. Oh, you kept me waiting for so long, I decided to work up a little perspiration. Whoa, ho, ho. But my, you have been busy being naughty and messing up our plans. It was oh so close for everything to turn out just right, just the way we hoped. But I can salvage our plan by beating you, little man. And so, there's time for one last frantic dance before the grand finale. Let the music play. Here we go. Cypher Admin, Mirror B, in all of his shining glory. He sends out Ludicolo and Ludicolo, who would have guessed? Ludicolo are actually kind of low level to what we've been facing, but don't worry, that low level makes up for it. Because they are pretty strong. Now the thing about Mirror B is it took me way too long to figure out where his name came, comes from. Another word for a disco ball is a mirror ball. So mirror ball, mirror B. I guess just taking out that extra R in mirror just really confused me. And it's funny because in Italian, his name is straight up disco ball. And in French, his name also just means disco ball. Now mirror B's strategy here is to use rain dance. And then it is also to use rain dance again because he is dumb. Yep, there you go. He always does that. I don't know why. Rain dance only works when you use it the first time. So this is really interesting, because he actually uses double strategies. So Ludicolos actually get a boost from rain. They have two abilities that are great for rain. Swift Swim, which is what Mantine has, which is why I brought her out to get that speed boost. And then Rain Dish, which restores HP just a little bit every turn when rain is up. So this is another thing I love about Pokemon Coliseum, is the tougher trainers actually use legitimate strategy. And another thing these Ludicolo do is they really like to heal themselves with other moves. So we'll probably see that coming up. Oh, of course, critical hit. Well, Razor Leaf has a high crit. Oh my gosh, I love this fight. It's so fun. And the music playing is fantastic. It's so goofy and cheerful. It fits Mirror Beast so well. And actually, the music has kind of that Hispanic vibe. It actually has some lyrics. Oh, Fury Swipes, that's interesting. Thought I'd go for a different move. Oh, critical hit. Yeah, it actually has some lyrics. The two I know for sure are Salsa, which is a type of dance from Cuba, and Cumbia, which is a type of dance from Colombia and Panama. So he's got some... The, the singer has some types of dances. And then the rest are I'm a bit iffy on. It's really hard to tell what he's saying. There's Agosar. Which is just enjoy. So the guys like saying enjoy. And then these these are three. Oh, leech seed. Yeah, using leech seed that'll drain Espeon's HP and also restore HP to Ludicolo. So Mirror B loves rain and healing. That's what his strategy is. It can be kind of tough. I also start with Espeon because it's best to just. Focus down a Ludicolo and just get rid of it as fast as possible. Because that healing can get really annoying. 
So the other lyrics could be K Rico, which means delicious. That one I don't know, but some people say that's what it is. There's also El Ritmo, which is the rhythm. That one makes a lot of sense. And then Arriba, which is kind of the go or hooray type cheer. I, I just love that there are lyrics, but it is kind of hard to tell what the guy is saying. He's probably not a Spanish speaker, if I had to guess. Oh, and Dive. So, Dive mixed with Leech Seed is really annoying because it's practically just stalling. So this Ludicolo goes underwater where we can't hit it, and it just restores HP while it's underwater. So I'm going to switch out Espeon because he's taking a bit of a beating. The good thing is, is Bayleaf is immune to Leech Seed because he's a grass type. And Mantine won't have much of an issue here. She is good to go. She has... These Ludicolo only use pretty much special attacks, and Mantine has ridiculously high special defense, so it, she'll be around for a while. Unless they use Leech Seed, which they most definitely will. I'm actually going to give you time to listen to this music, because it is amazing. Oh, I love that. The rolling R. Oh, sends chills down my spine. I love it. So he's going to set up Rain Dance again. It only lasts for five turns. So we're fine. All right, there's another Ludicolo down. Yeah, he has four Ludicolo. This is why everyone in this place uses Lotad and Lombre. They're all fanboys of Mirror B. All right, this is Ace. Pseudo Rudo. Look at it. It's got... It's a little stiff on the dance floor, but it has its moves. Alright, we're gonna go for Body Slam. Try and get that Paralysis. Ooh, what do I want to do? I could try and confuse Ludicolo, but... Super Sonic is so inaccurate, I don't really want to risk it. I love Ludicolo's little dance. Look at that. Oh, is it gonna be dumb? Oh. Never mind. That's very lucky. Leech Seed has a pretty high accuracy. It's like 90. But it's weird. It says... Oh, Shadow Rush. Okay. Let's see if this does recoil. Will it? It did do recoil. Okay. Because Sudowoodo has an ability that prevents recoil, but it also has another ability. So it definitely has that second one. So the thing with Leech Seed is if it misses, it says the Pokemon evaded the attack rather than it missed, which is really odd. There aren't very many moves that do that. Alright, let's send Umbreon to take some hits, because Mantine's getting a little low. Pseudo Widow is a bit tough to catch, so we're gonna have to weaken it a bit. Oh, please use. Oh, man. Oh, Leech Seed is so annoying. I'm gonna have to toxic this Ludicolo, because with Espeon low on HP, it's gonna be tough taking it down. Please paralyze. Thank you! Yeah, I'm gonna toxic this Ludicolo. Ooh, low kick! Please don't use that Umbreon. Ow. This Udo Udo is tough. It is strong. Ow, oh, and that Leech Seed doesn't help. And Rain Dish. There's more healing. Alright. I'm actually just gonna try and capture this Udo Udo. With Ultra Balls. So this should have a pretty high chance, but we'll see. Alright, let's Toxic this Ludicolo. Whittle it down a little bit. It would be really nice to get the pseudo out of the way right now. Oh, come on. Yes! Oh, that is a weight off my shoulders. So this battle is pretty much in the bag now. It's kind of a waiting game. Thankfully, switching out does get rid of uh, Leech Seed, so I'm going to switch Umbreon out. So you can see, there's a lot more strategy that goes into these tougher admin battles. Which is really cool. 
Uh, I'm gonna take this time. Does... Oh, I forgot if this was a Ludicolo with... With Rain Dish. I'm just gonna synthesis anyway. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, Mr. Evis. <laughs> Wasn't really planning on using her, but... She'll be helpful. Okay, this one does have Swift Swim. Oh wait, oh, Synthesis restores less HP in the rain. I completely forgot, that's okay. We got a good bit of healing anyway. Okay, so now we just do some damage. Good thing we have Confuse Ray. Because now if it wants to use Dive, it'll have to try and get through Confusion twice. One for diving underwater and one for attacking. This one Ludicolo. If only Espeon were a little bit healthier. This is what we'll have to do. Just a war of attrition at this point. Alright, this should do it. There we go. We did it. We have dethroned the Disco King. I can't keep up with the tempo. Oh no no, what a no no. Hey, how'd you get over there? How, how, how dare you? Don't you dare think you'll get away with your latest outrage. One of these days, I will take great pleasure in kicking you about with my elegant dance steps. Oh, and I'm not giving up on our Shadow Pokemon plan. Let's go escape! Of course he Naruto runs, because that's just the legend he is. Uh-oh, what's that? Why did you hear those cries? It must be Plusle. I think those cries came from behind that door. Now we can open the door, but first, item. And TM49. That is Snatch, how appropriate, because Mirror Beat Snatch Plusle. But Snatch isn't particularly great, so I'm not really gonna deal with it. Oh, another shiny. Oh my gosh, a red thing and a shiny. I'm sorry, Plusle, we'll just ignore you for now. Macho Brace. That, you get, remember what I was talking about? You get effort values from beating Pokemon. Well, that doubles how many effort values you get, but it also halves your speed, so I'm not gonna be using it. Ooh, shiny. Plusle's just sitting there. Sorry, Plusle, we have to read this important thing. I found P. Let's see who that is. Purification of Pokemon. Shadow Pokemon are fighting machines created by closing the door of their hearts. The process of restoring Shadow Pokemon back to its real state is known as purification. Yes, they don't taste shadow forever. How it's purified is unclear. Several causes. We must eliminate reaction to these factors to create Pokemon that will never revert back to the original purified forms. We'll see more of that later, but we have a Plusle to rescue. Hey, we got gotcha. you. You're gonna be okay. Wes, Plusle. Huh, huh. Wes, you're safe. Oh, and Plusle. Oh, little Plusle. It's so happy. Mirror B got away, but things will be back to normal soon. Duking, I don't know what to say. Forget it, Silva. We're all unharmed, that's good enough. Yeah, Silva had his heart in the right place. It's the thought that counts. Even that mere bee's been driven out thanks to Wes. Yeah, we're pretty cool. Aw. Hmm, what's that, Plusle? Feeling hungry out of relief? Wahaha. Oh, I'd be hungry too if I was held hostage. Okay, Wes, let's quit this moldy cavern and quick. I agree, we've done everything we can here. Wes, we owe you a great deal. A great deal, sincerely, thank you. If you're even a bit later, Plusle could have been made a shadow Pokemon. That's horrible. I'm glad everything's fine. Papa and Plusle too. Oh, Plusle's so happy. Hmm? What's the matter, Plusle? Oh, you want to? Okay, I understand. Wes, could you take my Plusle with you? Plusle's saying he wants to help you too. <gasps> yes, I would be happy to take Plusle. Yes, yes, that's right. We can't let those criminals get away with it. That's amazing. We got a cute and brave addition to our party. Wes, I'm counting on you. <gasps> we got Plusle! I immediately transferred to the PC even though it hopped into my jacket. I intend to investigate the organization behind Mirror B. As soon as I discover anything, I'll be in touch. 
Which reminds me, Wes, I need your PDA number. Yes, we're actually getting a use of the PDA, finally. I wonder what Wes's number is. I'm sure a lot of ladies would like to have it because of course they would. Perfect, I'll be in touch as soon as we discover anything. Hey Silva, how are you faring after the roughing up you got? Deep beneath this town is another town. It goes by the name of The Under. Mirabee's mom may have been smug smuggling shadow Pokemon from in there. We're gonna do a little digging in the underground town of The Under. Ooh, I wonder if we'll be going there eventually. Big people, please be nice to Plusle. Oh, we will be very nice to Plusle because <laughs> I'm actually going to be adding Plusle to the team. I actually really like using Plusle. This is, because everything's doubles, this is one of the few games where Plusle gets to shine. Ow, 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 ow. I'm sorry, Chief, but there's big news. You see, Chief, Mirror B and his underlings have left town. Huh, Chief? You're not the Chief, I beg your pardon. I'm here, Johnson, that story isn't new. It is incredibly new. That happened just a few minutes ago. Heard about it over and over? Who told this guy? Oh, Chief, there you are. You're such a kidder. Um, okay. I don't know. Man, news travels fast. To have sure done it. Got word from one of Duking's people. Wow. They're good. So you watch out Mirror B and his gang. Thank you. On behalf of our whole town, I want to thank you too. But there's also bad news. Headquarters warns. What headquarters? Where's this headquarters? Warns that there is a mysterious organization that's plotting world domination. I don't know if it has any connection to Mirror B, but you should be careful. Don't think, do anything reckless. I wonder if that was that cipher we saw. Okay. <gasps> Plusle! Yes, Plusle is going to be on the team. Uh, and it starts at level 13. So we have some training to do for him. Let's see his stats. Come on, give me a good nature. Quiet. Okay. That is what I thought Sassy was. Quiet is the minus speed plus special uh, attack, which is really pretty good, actually. Some more extra speed would be nice. Okay, so that's what that's what the quiet one is. Uh, and it has these moves. So it's more of a support. I'll be going over more in depth in the bio, but just know that Plusle is actually gonna be seeing some good use. And I'm very excited to use him. I really like using Plusle. And, if, and we saved him from, from Mirror B, and he's really happy to join us, so I am happy to oblige. Hey, we beat your, your boss. How do you think about that? What, Mirror B left town? Are you kidding me? You can tell us obvious lies, but we're not going to leave this safe place. Okay, you just stay there. I'll just be on my way. Well, okay, what to do now? Oh, by the way, now that Mirror B is gone, you can challenge the the Colosseum again, but don't do it. For some reason, the, all the Pokemon in like rounds after the first round are in their 50s, so you will get destroyed. I don't know why that happens, but just trust me. You will get destroyed. Oh, you're out of your house. Ah, I might be imagining it, but the town's air feels somewhat less dirty. But not all is well. I can feel the presence of black auras coming from shadow Pokemon. Wow, Fatih, nothing escapes your notice. It was the stench of Disco. It has left, left the town. I'm sorry if you like Disco. There is but nothing that eludes the notice of my fortune-telling fo 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 The key to freeing Pokemon from that black aura. It is in the north. Up north. That's where my grandpa lives, too. Oh, no, I forgot. I was on my way to visit grandpa. He lives in Agat Village. That's north of here. Fo 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 That being north may, may be no mere coincidence. Your answer may be there. Oh, my grandpa was a famous trainer when he was young. Maybe my grandpa would know something. Let's go see him, Wes. Now we could go to Agate Village, but I want to save that for the next episode because we've already done a lot, but there is one more thing I want to do. And that is go back to the outskirts stand. And there's a very good reason for that because you can probably tell by me shuffling up the party. <gasps> do I really want to put Plusle in? I'm just going to switch him out for training. Because we can battle Willy again. Oh, hey, it's you. Just the guy I wanted to see. You see, I had the urge to have another Pokemon battle with you. It was driving me wonky. 
Wait, was his name just uppercase and then lowercase? What? Did I read that right? I'll have to look back at that. Ryder Willie! We get to battle him again. We get to listen to the awesome music again. He actually evolved one of his Zigzagoon. Congratulations. He's not really... Well, actually, he's probably easier than when we first battled him because we got a lot stronger. Go, Plusle! I'm going to immediately switch you out. But yeah, I thought it was appropriate because after you beat Mirror B, you could rematch him. And he was our first trainer, so I figured we'd give him more of the spotlight. It won't be a hard or long battle. It's going to be pretty short. So I thought I'd just show it off. Are they going to do it to attack? Oh. They didn't attack Plusle. That's so weird. Usually the AI likes to target Pokemon that'll take a ton of damage. So I'm kind of surprised. Ow. Okay. That's cool. Oh, jeez. Five times. Alright. Oh my gosh, we almost one shot with Bite. What are you gonna do, Zigzagoon? Motor Sleuth. Hey, don't smell my Pokemon. Actually, Bayleaf probably smells really good. Probably smells like bay leaves. Another. Okay, are you gonna use it on Bayleaf this time? Please don't hit five times. Thank you. Alright, and his Razor Leaf should take out the Zigzagoon unless it misses. And should do some good damage to Lining too. Alright, there's Zigzagoon out of the way. And we should be able to finish this up next turn. Hey! Oh yeah, Plusle, um, Plusle's original trainer is Duking. So it gets 1.5 times experience, which makes training it up a lot easier. That's a mechanic in main series Pokemon too. Oh my gosh! This pin missile is absurd! Is that if a Pokemon is traded uh, to you from another trainer, then, wow, then they get 1.5 times experience. And there's no badges, so Plusle won't disobey you like in the main series games. Did it survive? Yeah, it totally survived. Not this though. There we go. Good job, Willie. You've gotten stronger. And you helped me level up Plusle, so thank you. Wiped out again. It's okay, Willie. You did your best. But yeah, you're tough, real tough. You stomped us good. Now, I just want to check the news real quick, too. Hey, there's something new on the news. What do we got? We have received breaking news. Mira B, the brutal crime lord of Pyrite Town, has been defeated and driven out of town. Reports claim that two young people were behind Mira B's downfall. Their identities and where they came from are unknown. I don't know why we're unknown, since Sheryls knows about it, but okay. Thanks to their heroic work, Pyrite Town should hopefully return to its peaceful ways. Well, as peaceful as it does get. Oh my. You've even visited Pirate Town with its awful notoriety? Compared to that place, Fennec City is a hundred times more beautiful. I watched you from here. Why aren't you and your Pokemon strong? Watching you bedazzled me. Yes, covered her in shiny plastic and plastic gems. Why, if I were ten years younger, I'd grab hold and wouldn't leave your side. Of course you wouldn't. Recently, there's been nothing but bad news. I wish there'd be a good piece of news. I'd brighten up the day for everyone. Hey, well, we just got some. Okay, that'll do it for this episode. In the next one, we will head over to Agate Village. First, we have some bios to go over, so let's get on to that. First up is Sudowoodo. It's your standard rock type. High physical bulk, but low special bulk. High attack, but low speed. Unfortunately, Sturdy isn't nearly as good as in Gen 5, and enemy Pokemon almost never go for one-hit KO attacks, so I'd recommend Rockhead. It does only get one move that benefits from it, but it's better than nothing. His starting moves are Flail, which is a normal type attack that gets stronger the lower the user's HP, Block, which prevents the target from switching out, Low Kick, which is a fighting type attack that gets stronger the heavier the opponent, and Rock Slide, which is a strong rock type attack that hits both opponents and has a chance to flinch. 
Sudowoodo has very high physical attack and gets Rock Slide, which is one of the best doubles moves in the game. There's not really much else to say. It does get other strong moves, but Rock Slide is the best choice 9 out of 10 times. Sudowoodo will take a bit of a beating due to its low speed, low special bulk, and a bad defensive typing, but once it attacks, it'll hit like a truck. Next is Plusle. Plusle actually doesn't have too bad of stats. Its physical stats are awful, but its special stats are pretty solid. That high speed is also great to have on its support Pokemon. The plus ability is almost entirely useless in this game, because you can't get a Pokemon with minus unless you trade in the post game. Its starting moves are Growl, which lowers both opponents' attack stat by one stage, Thunder Wave, Quick Attack, and Helping Hand. Plusle is all about playing the support role, and it learns a ton of great support moves. It can sometimes make use of its decent special attack, but it really shines when helping teammates. The AI is also very prone to attacking it, leaving your other Pokemon mostly safe from damage. I guess being a meat shield is a form of support. Alright, thank you all very much for watching. It has been a pleasure to play, and I will catch you later.